9.15 p.m. It's finally dark in the eucalyptus forest. We wait in our tent. Listening and staring into the night. We wait for the familiar huffing and puffing with which the Tasmanian devils announce themselves. We hope that our guests won't be late. A young Tasmanian devil appears. He hesitates and sniffs extensively. Does our smell penetrate the one of the dead kangaroo? We wired the kangaroo to its place so that it stays where it is. Now he has to start his meal in front of our camera in the spotlight. Like a pair of scissors, he uses his sharp cheek teeth to cut open the kangaroo's skin. Something distracts him from his work. He sniffs around. Another young devil. Food envy is typical for devils, even between siblings, although the kangaroo would be big enough for both of them. With all the growling, screeching and threatening, the young devils hardly have time to eat. Normally, it's just screaming with snarling and snapping, but sometimes the animals go further than planned. Deep wounds and scars remain. Older devils in particular are littered with them. The shouting and arguing seems to be over. The table order is set. Almost peacefully and orderly, each devil eats on his own side. The two young devils enjoy it. Each one of them eats at one end. Ham and crunchy kangaroo tail. The powerful teeth are unbelievable. The young devil eats the kangaroo tail like a sausage. The two young devils haven't been independent for long, perhaps only for three to four weeks. After only 30 days in the womb, they spent another three and a half months in the pouch, as is usual for marsupials. After that they were suckled for another three to four months. Now they fight and eat their way through life on their own. Only one of the young devils has returned to the kangaroo. Where is the second one? What is he doing back there in the dark?
Devil, it's so dark, where is the torch? Now we have to check everything, look for the place where the cable devil did his mischief. We don't know whether to laugh or cry right now. Never before has a leading actor sabotaged our work in such a devious way. Well, we've never had to deal with devils before. The sharp teeth have done a good job. A wire of the power line has been bitten through. Nothing happened to the culprit. The devil had a guardian angel, because if he had also bitten the second wire, 220 volts would certainly have tingled more than just on the tongue. We ask experts to look away now. The repair does not comply with safety regulations, but it brings light back into the Tasmanian bush. At least we hope so. We aren't angry with the cable devil. He tugged at the power cable out of playfulness, enjoyed the bobbing wire and the stuttering generator. Devils are not as dull, stupid and lazy as described in old books. When the generator is upright, it will go back to function. That's it. And the headlight has also survived the little devilish game. A new actor steps into the spotlight. An old Tasmanian devil, a fully grown female. One of the young devils approaches hesitantly. We are pretty sure that it's his mother whom he's grumbling at so unkindly. And knowing the food envious devils, there will soon be another quarrel, because adolescent youngsters don't even begrudge their mother a bite. Small but cheeky. What the young devil lacks in size, he makes up for in screaming. Its mother has trouble holding on to her food. Probably hunger determines the level of aggression in the pouched devils, and thus their hierarchy when eating, regardless of age, size or family status. A snort in the background. It's another devil, the biggest we have seen so far. It's an old battle-hardened male. He is the father of our devil family, but still not the boss. He has to earn his place at the table like all the others. The devil's father has a hard time. On the one hand, his offspring is bawling his ears off, on the other hand, his wife is screaming and sneering. This is hard to bear, even for an old hardened devil. We must not chalk up the greedy eating to bad table manners. They have to eat what they can get, quickly and selfishly. For they are not hunters and can't go get meat on demand. Gluttonous silence in the devil family. But one member is missing. Where is the second young devil? Is he up to mischief again? He's still just sniffing, upright and leaning on his tail, but you can tell he's up to something. The microphone hangs at a safe height. 
And now he does something that he shouldn't be able to do at all. The little devil climbs on the tree. Our microphone hangs from this wire, fortunately out of the devil's reach. It is thanks to his curiosity that we have the first film recordings of Tasmanian devils climbing. The old devil, the father, comes back. He looks bad. Somebody must have caught him on the cheek in a quarrel. That can happen. But the wound will heal quickly, and another scar will adorn the devil's father. There's hardly anything left of the kangaroo. Only skin and a few bones. That's all his dear family left him. He now shares the shabby remains with his wife. The strong snorting, which sounds almost like a sneeze, is threatening behavior of the first degree. Shouting has a stronger effect. The third level would be snapping, and if that does not have any effect, then it can come to a serious fight. However, the devil couple is already almost full, and aggression therefore flares up only sparsely. Tasmanian devils were rigorously fought in the past, especially by cattle ranchers. But it's precisely them they help by removing carcasses quickly and free of charge. Thus they prevent the spread of livestock diseases. He deftly uses his paw. With his fingers he grasps the piece of food. This shows how differently the devils are built compared to dogs, which they resemble very much in outward appearance. Convergence is what science calls it when nature produces creatures from completely different animal strains that resemble each other in appearance and way of life. Young devil number one takes a little nap. He has a quarter of a kangaroo in his stomach. Tonight the whole devil family has had its fill. The feast was enough for everyone. We're surrounded by full and satisfied devils. <laughs>